Imagine being an Olympic athlete who cannot invite your mom or wife to watch your performance. You must be knowledgeable in philosophy and eloquent in conversation before you are even allowed to compete. You will be competing completely naked, every movement exposed to the elements and the eyes of the crowd. And if you win, there's no gold medal waiting for you, but rather a simple wreath made of olive leaves. The ancient Olympic Games, held in Olympia, Greece, were a cornerstone of Greek culture and society. These ancient games were filled with surprises that challenge our modern perceptions of sports. Let's talk about the historical and strange facts of the ancient Olympics, where the line between athletic competition and eccentric tradition blurred in fascinating ways. Naked athletes' competitors in the ancient Olympics competed in the nude, a practice known as gymnos. This custom was seen as a mark of honor and athletic prowess, symbolizing the celebration of the human body. It also allowed for greater freedom of movement during events, highlighting the athlete's physical excellence. No women allowed. Only men were permitted to participate in the games. Women were not allowed to compete, and even freeborn women were banned from attending the events. However, there were exceptions. The priestess of Demeter was allowed to watch, and unmarried women could attend certain events, reflecting the strict gender roles of the time. Religious Roots the ancient Olympic Games were held in honor of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. They began as a religious festival rather than merely a sports competition. Participants and spectators engaged in sacrifices and rituals to gain favor from the gods, underscoring the deep religious significance of the Games. Five-day festival, the Games spanned five days with the first day dedicated to sacrifices and offerings to the gods, and the last day reserved for a grand banquet. The days in between were filled with various athletic competitions, including running, wrestling, boxing, and chariot racing, creating a blend of religious observance and athletic spectacle. Sacred Truce A truce, known as Echecheria, was declared during the Olympics, halting all wars and conflicts throughout Greece. This truce allowed athletes and spectators to travel safely to and from Olympia, emphasizing the unifying power of the Games and fostering a sense of pan-Hellenic peace. The Winners' Prizes Winners of the ancient Olympics did not receive medals. Instead, they were awarded olive wreaths symbolizing peace and victory and were celebrated as heroes in their hometowns. Victorious athletes often enjoyed lifelong benefits, such as free meals, seats of honor at public events, and exemption from taxes. But the games themselves did not provide monetary rewards. Victory Statues Victors often had statues erected in their honor, placed in public areas of their hometowns, as a testament to their achievements. These statues not only commemorated individual accomplishments, but also brought prestige to the athlete's city-state, serving as a lasting legacy of their success. No permanent stadium. The ancient Olympic Games were held in Olympia, but there was no permanent stadium. Facilities were temporary and built anew for each event. Athletes trained at gymnasiums, which were not just for physical training, but also for social and philosophical discussions. Reflecting the holistic nature of Greek education, no professional athletes. Athletes in the ancient Olympics were amateurs, competing for honor and glory rather than financial gain. Those found to be professional were disqualified. Athletes swore an oath to compete fairly and to respect the rules of the games, and they had to prove their training and eligibility. Embodying the Greek ideal of arete, excellence, in both body and mind. Unique events, the Hoplitodromos. One of the unique events in the ancient Olympics was the Hoplitodromos, a race in which athletes ran wearing full hoplite armor, including a helmet, shield, and greaves. This event showcased not only speed and endurance, but also the ability to maneuver while carrying the heavy equipment of a Greek soldier emphasizing the connection between athletic prowess and military readiness. The ancient Olympic Games were much more than just a series of athletic contests. They were a celebration of physical excellence, religious devotion, and cultural unity 
that left an enduring legacy on the world of sports and beyond. What tradition did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments.